where we are. Amen. As we start listening to testimonies now, you check yourself. Is it taking place? Is it taking place? Not only this, it's taking place where you are there. Apart from this, can you see? Can you see? I can see the power of God. I can see the move of God. Wonderful. We are waiting for you. testimony will be verified authenticated there are medical doctors here who will verify then apart from that not just saying I had pains on my body or mention the symptom they will tell us the exact sickness so it's going to be wonderful tonight we are going to start listening to the testimony now. Those online, get ready because we know God has moved globally everywhere. And those in other locations, get ready. It's time sure. for testimony. Let's listen to the first testifier. Let's listen now. Let's listen now. Stop your singing there first. When they give their testimony, you rejoice. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for what the Lord has done for me. The Lord has taken shame away in my marriage for 14 years of badness. When I went to the living place, I used to check myself. The woman that had told me, Madam, I say yes, ma. Your womb is lit. I say ah. Uh -uh. For the first time, the woman turned to a basket to lick. That is the reason you cannot conceive. I said it's not my portion. My womb cannot be a basket that will lick. When I sit down, there was a the man of God climb the pulpit to preach. I'm, I said on my mind, I said today, any sperm my husband will drop, he will not lick again. Today is the last day. The smell will leak. In my mouth, when I went to the hospital, the doctor would tell me, Madam, because of this pain, that is the reason you have leaking womb. That, that is the reason, because of this pain, you will not conceive. Every time, every program I will attend, immediately I will shout hallelujah. I will hear the pain. But it's because of the reason, 14 years. Yes, because of that. Because of that pain, 14 years of that pain, in my womb, 
because this side, they say because of the, the, the pain, I cannot consume my womb is leaking. When the man of God climbed the pulpit this evening, I was there in that place. I said, today, God, any spell my husband will drop. He will not leak again. Enough is enough. That's my womb. As yes, as the man of God said, as the man of God said, before you will say a last amen, say it is done. I say, the man of God said, shout hallelujah, it is done. I shout hallelujah. See that now. The pain is gone. I did not hear the pain again. The pain is gone totally. I did not hear it again. It's gone fine now. My husband's back cannot leave. My womb is dry. My womb cannot leave. Amen. Basket leaking womb is now mother is going to be a children. Amen. Your own is there also. All that is leaking in your life, the Lord has sealed everything. What the sister testified is that her name is Deborah Aiden. She has been having right-sided lower abdominal pain for 14 years. And because of that, she has gone to a lot of places for treatment. And they attributed her barrenness to the pain. But when she came here, after the prayer of the man of God, the pain disappeared. You could see how she prayed that her right-sided abdomen and the pain is no more. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. By this time next year, she will come to testify with the child. If they desire twins, triplets, they will get it. Praise the Lord. Lord, praise the Lord. I should be the happiest person today. My name is uh, Okay Timo Friday Collins. Yesterday I was here with a severe pain. For over two years now, I've been having uh, ulcer, peptic ulcer, which has caused me a lot of pain. Radiating from my chest to my back, to my back to my brain. I have been having serious this pain. I've been going from hospital to hospital. Even some of the drugs I have been taking is here with me. But yesterday, when our daddy Gio was praying, after he finished praying for us, he said he mentioned my case. He said whoever that has, he, he mentioned the case of Osa, and I claimed it with faith. I discovered that before I before I reached gates yesterday, I discovered that there was no pain anymore in my body. As if that was not enough, I said, oh, I said, if this is true, I'm going to fast today. And if I did not feel the pain again, that means it is over. Since morning till now, as I'm talking to you, I have not tested water. Amen. And I have never seen any pain. I'm, I'm not feeling any pain anymore. I return, to, I return all the glory to God. Oh, sir. Never to surface again. Quietness, please. Let's listen. God bless you. My name is Brother Daniel Wiyode. I'm from Rumumoy Group of District. I, I want to testify what God has done in my life here tonight. For three years, I've been having ulcer, serious ulcer. I can't stand. I cannot stay four hours without eating. Even coming here today, when I was coming to the church, my legs were shaking. I could not stand. I could not bend. But now I can bend. I can jump up. Before, before I came here, this was all impossible. 
I want to glorify the name of the Lord and I thank you, Daddy. God bless. Free and free indeed. All that hold you in bondage, they are gone. You are free. Live where you are and come for testimony. Let's listen to the next person before we go to social media. Okay. the Lord. George, praise the Lord. My name is Barisa Alitura, and this is my brother, Daniel. I've been, for as long as I can remember, I've been having difficulties in breathing. They, they call it obstructive airflow. If I spend the night with you in the same room, you can barely sleep because of the noise that will come out from my breath. But today, after the prayer of the man of God, I can, I can breathe normal. And he can attest to it that if I spend, if I, spend I share a bed with him at night, he can barely hear anything because of the, the sound that comes out of my, my nose. I can barely breathe properly at night. But after the prayer of the man of God, I can breathe now. Praise the Lord. All breathing problem gone. Let's hear from the brother. Praise the Lord. No, the breathing problem started from when he was small until... This year, he continued. But today, the problem is gone. Praise the Lord. The problem, your problem. Let's hook up to social media now. Or oh, doctor, you have something to explain to us? Yes. Okay. The young man who testified has been having obstructive airway disorder. And then you'll be having difficulty breathing each time you'll be having noisy breathing but as he came here after the prayer of the man of god his breathing became normal the obstruction vanished all in your life is normal now let's hook up to social media yes 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 as we are celebrating the showers here live in Protacot, the showers of blessing being celebrated all over the world, from Russia to UK and all parts of Africa. And we are going to be taking some live testimonies of what God has done from um, Edo State, Nigeria, as well as Akwa Ibom. But then, before we go to Benin City in Edo State, we are going to take this one coming all the way from Russia. We say, or say, Joseph has written of how the showers of blessing, the showers washed away high blood pressure and a high stage diabetes type 2. He wrote, he said his dad fell sick suddenly in the night and was rushed to the hospital. He was eventually diagnosed of diabetes type 2 and a high stage of hypertension, which led to stroke. However, he's been in the hospital in a private room for so many weeks. And then while the crusade was going on, he got connected to the crusade right there in his room. He held his faith and connected this as the man of God was praying. And children of God, after the prayers of the man of God right there in his hospital room, can I let you know that the glucose level from 12 dropped all the way down to 3.9. And that's not just all. The high blood pressure of 140.90 dropped, came back to normal, and dropped down to 120.80. The showers of blessing indeed. And now, we are going to go over to Benin City, Edo State, for a live testimony. Benin City, 
life. the Lord. I say praise the Lord. My testimony is love. My testimony is love. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimonies are many, but because of others, I want to share specifically two. I am Pastor Isaac Aja Obasekama from Osola Group. Benin City in Edo State. My testimony is just from the last concluded Enugu Crusade. Over two months or thereabout, I had what is called a headache, headache and the coldness of body. These symptoms is beyond worse, beyond description. To me, I the, uh, the spot they see, thinking as if COVID 19 have come. Then I had little drugs as you are seeing me. But this thing permitted me to buy drugs. But as I was just coming to my district, I sent money to my zona leader. He's here right now. I said, Go and buy drugs for me. And my zona leader bought drugs and bought to me. I said, ah, Why am I to take drugs? See what is happening here, over here, over here, over here. I kept the drugs. I didn't take it. But after the prayer of Pastor Dr. Dobleb Komoyi, I am no longer even now visiting anything like that again. Secondly, secondly, my junior sister, over 20 years, has been looking for a job. I have discussed both the highly and the less privileged people, and among them even within my family. But let me just tell you, after the same crusade, that very first, my bro younger brother called me. When he called me, you know, I was panicking. Those of us that have them over the high institution, I was panicking. Whether they are calling me for money, money. My mind was always, always like, but he just like, said, what happened? I said, brother, uh, I want to see what happened. That somebody have come, drove his car all the way from Lagos and said, my sister, this is a employment opportunity. That I should send the money. I send small money. As I'm telling you now, that job has been secured to her. So I am telling you now, I am a man of multiple testimony. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Master Jesus. Our God is good. I'm here to testify the goodness of God, what God has done for my life. My name is Sister Crack, a woman, Maria. I've come from a, a Bini city, a do state. Praise the Lord. So I want to thank God for what God do for my life because God is good. And just a fact. I will have you this hand. This hand, I don't know. Sometimes I will, I will hold on. The hand will pay me. So if I then you have a fan day, I'll put my hand for inside my body so that the hand will go there. Pay me. So on that, before the uh, pastor for uh, when you go for uh, Abuja, divine touch. I say, God, touch me from my head to my toe, the leg. I know they feel the take My hand, the pain. Which one? We, I say, any year will they pain us? More we'll put our hand. I don't know where I will raise my hand. Put. I carry one up. I raise one. I, I, I say, God, all from my head to my toe, perform your healing. And body, leg, and my hand. I can shake it. Look at it. I feel shake the hand. I check my leg. Every part of my leg. I can even to wear my shoe. I know they feel they wear high shoe before. Even when I they do usher, I find it difficult. Small time, I'll go sit down. Small time, I'll stand up again. But today, I, I run from uh, when they say, man, I come. I run from a uh, marrow rich year. I not stop. So that what God has done for me. Praise the Lord. And the second is the second one. When I find it difficult, when I want to. Uh, Small time, I will see myself. If I don't go peace, I will unite for body. I was praying, I said, God, perform your miracle for my life. When one woman give a testimony, I say, God, since then, this problem with this woman, the pain and the pain. So, God, as you do that woman, I'll do my own for me. And truly, God, do my own for me. No more that uniting in the body again. And even though I want peace, I will enter the bedroom and peace and find enter my house. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Our God is good. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Chibuzo Ebi. By special grace of God, I am saved. My district is a, of our district church, of our district group of church, Bini City, in Edo State. My testimony goes like this. Some time ago, I discovered that I have pain in my low uh, abdomen. So the thing was really up. I have to go to hospital to see doctor. So after everything, doctor confirmed that he said, hi, I asked him, what can I do? He said, there's nothing I can do just to operate the high near. Praise the Lord. I prepare for oppression. As God may have it, God did it. Praise the Lord. After less than two years, I start expressing the same problem in my left hand, left side. Ah, I say, no, I cannot accept this. This is satanic activities. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. I take it in God in prayer. But within that period, our Father and the Lord have a program in Abuja. So in that program, I tell God that I will not go back with this problem. And I remember after the last amen, I put my hand there. I cannot find that surely again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We go, we go to Aqua Ibom for a live testimony. Aqua Ibom live. to thank God for what the Lord has done for me. My brethren, what the Lord has done for me yesterday is marvelous. Amen. I have to uh, chase pet of about 25 years. And yesterday as I was about passing by the roadside, I didn't know that there was a broken like this. So as I was about passing, nobody invited me. As I was about passing, so the moderator now announced that Potakot choir are to minister. So I now went and listened to the ministration of the choir. So after the ministration of the choir, I now decided to go inside where they were having the program and sit down on my own. No usher give me a seat. So by the time that he has finished the message and he said, immediately you hear the last amen. My brethren, the pens I've been feeling for the past 25 years just ceased instantly. May the name of the Lord be highly be exalted in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord! And now we want to go back to your UK for a live testimony. But then before we switch for the live testimony, we have this also coming in from the UK of how God in his faithfulness washed away when the showers fall, the pain of 38 years. Of 38 years. This woman, Mrs. This woman, Titi Lyo, Mrs. at Desoya, all the way from UK, way from she's UK. had this pain for 38 years after a fatal accident. And just because it was time for that pain to vanish, it resurfaced yesterday as the man of God was praying. He ministered and told the people of God that healing is part of the showers that will fall. And after the prayers of the man of God, the showers washed away the pain of 38 years. And up till now, the pain is gone and gone. Praise the Lord. And right now, we go to the UK for a live testimony waiting for us. UK now, live. Go ahead, Sister Donna. Okay, hello. Um, I just wanted to um, share my testimony because yesterday 
and I was feeling very unhappy, very unhappy suddenly because I felt that I was, I was, um, I tried to shake it off but I couldn't because um, I was hurt very deeply by some, something my dearest said to me and um, but I said I'm, I'm at the program now so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to come out of here, I'm not going to have any depression, any sadness or anything and God did it for me and then today I came on to, online and um, I, uh, I even saw the name of my husband next to me in the next box, although it was, it wasn't the camera wasn't switched on or anything. I don't think it was him because he was downstairs at the time. So um, it wasn't possible to be him, I didn't think. I was hoping sort of thing, but it, I don't think it was him. But um, anyway, um, I, I believe it wasn't him. But anyway, um, so I just said, well, that man yesterday said that he stood for the, the blessing of somebody else who was going to die. And um, the, the two of them appeared to give their testimony and said, um, you know, he said, this is the man that I stood for who was going to die. That he was, was going to receive his life on behalf of that man. And the man survived. He came out of death and he was there to, to testify, yes, I'm, I'm alive and I'm well. Praise the Lord. So I thought, well, I'm going to stand on behalf of my husband that he will be restored to the Lord today because... Um, i just seen him going down and down, and even today, um, in the car, I said to him, you're, you're like, you're um, on the side of the Antichrist. I just can't see any, you know, you know, you're, and he didn't answer me, but um, I just, um, I just, uh, like, your fodder for the Antichrist, it just came out. I didn't mean to be unkind, but it was just, I was just like at my lowest ebb, and I said it, but he didn't say anything. He didn't react. He didn't get emotional, he didn't say anything. But um, I, so I said, I'm going to stand for my husband here for his salvation, for his restoration. And um, so anyway, my husband, um, so when they said, check up, check up, I thought that that was to me to say, go upstairs and see, you know, go upstairs and speak to him. And so I did. I thought, I'm taking this by faith, Lord. Um, this, is, this is for me. So I went upstairs and to my surprise and my delight, he was watching a sermon online, which is, you know, I just don't see that very much, you know, I don't see that at all really, but I, that was a token for me to say, God has done it, so I'm believing God has done it, so praise the Lord. <laughs> now, before we hand over to the state of us here, this is another testimony coming in all the way from Cameroon. The flight took over down there. And this is coming from Emmanuel from Limbe, Cameroon. She was this person was listening to the program live on the radio. And this person has had three weeks acute pain on his lungs. Both sides of his spine between the lowest ribs and the hip bones. Three weeks acute pain. But tonight, as the showers kept falling, after the prayers of the man of God, the pain disappeared. And right now, he is free. Praise the Lord. And right now, we hand over back to the state of Russia as we bring you more testimonies coming in later. You can see shards of blessing. That sister said she didn't know where to touch. Whether to touch here, touch here, touch here. Problems everywhere. But showers came, wet everywhere, all disappeared. By the grace of God. We we'll listen to the next testimony now. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is marvelous. Praise the Lord. Brethren, you can just see the testimony here. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Peter Ido from Ezimbu Extension District, New GROA Group. The, it all happened that after our marriage, long ago, 
devil's truck through a little girl we, we, we took in whose father died at the age of a year and six months. We took this girl to be with us so that we can as well help her. And then devil decided to use her. And uh, it went on like that. No way for us, not knowing that is this little girl that was directly, you know, manipulating whatever in the house. For quite a long time, and then our Father in the Lord prayed for us. He prayed for us, and he told us that in the name of Jesus, we are going to have twins. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I believe it, because Jesus himself said that whatever we ask in his name, he will do it. John 14, 14, he said he would do it. And I believe the word. And our daddy told us to go and start buying our children's uh, their things. And we went straight to the market and we started buying, we bought a lot of things for, and dub, double, that is pair, pair, pair. Because we believe that we are going to have twins. And by the special grace of God, these are the twins. Two boys. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. If you are looking for children like this, he will give you. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. If you are in that state, God is going to do your own. Today is your day. Let's listen to the next person. Hallelujah. 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 Did you know the happiest man on this planet Earth? I am. That is King James. By 22nd of November, 2021 will make me three years that I am on this nonsense. Partial stroke. This, my brother, will complete the rest of the testimony. What I celebrated. I don't know God would use Papa Kumiji to touch me. Do you know what happened? I was listening to radio one day say Papa Kumi was preaching. A girl, the song came out and they were about to do operation, but no money. The government paid money. They went to South Africa. But they said that they will cut off her tongue. 
Praise the Lord. Um, Papa here is not a member of Deeper Life. Um, during our publicity, um, DLCF um, Portacourt the, at the campus region, we were moving around for publicity and we met Papa. So Papa indicated interest to come for this program. And ever since I saw him, I've never, I've never seen him walk without his aid. So, yeah, he calls it his third leg. Third leg. So as uh, Daddy Kumuyu was ministering at the back, um, Daddy mentioned Papa's case and he talked about paralysis and Papa shouted, that is me. So what happened was that Papa began to exercise his strength there and he walked from the back to the front without the edge of this stick. And I believe the power of God has entered his hands and his leg and his miracle will be perfected in Jesus' name. It's perfected already. Praise the Lord. Omushneke, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Omushneke, if you imagine over here, I come from now, Lord, my chineke, Lord, man. Now, after that, for the new leg, raga, mumunwa, we so we na plastic, yeah, me cha. But now, we so we na bangwa. Yeah, my chango logo, doctor will have me. Murong him. Yeah, the nafoy. Yeah, nafo graga. Yeah, papa tan hoza. I'm a hand by me and give me. Oh, yeah, dam. Oh, my God, my dear room. Go up the court. Got your doctor snag up, woman. Now get me more pressure. Now do to one watch in a modia. Garu, yeah, they shall. Oh, you're going. Garu and one guard for it. Okura Biam, Okura Biam Garu Gachalab has a moon, Okura, Mogatris Chopra and Amodua, Lagatris Chopra, Ujabaham La Shazo, Omena Kabilam Takoti and Bira DCA. Program Emegana Abuja, Nabuja, I know Nule Bramondi, maybe Mam Kurunga, Nonga, Nonga, Yaraka, Agulemino to Wondi. La Abangan Hotapta, Yala Guana, no, no, dear Yala Guana, Anga and Ganshi Murun, Sunday Kelechine, Sonia Lola Molebre, Yala Ganiru, Dinilan Adia, yes, they have out the Hamotos, the Naha Jesus. Friends, the living God. Hallelujah. She's my mother, and she was suffering from uterine prolapse. Last year, and we, we, we don't know actually when the thing started. The first time she had the experience was in the late 70s, when she had one of us, and the, 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 the uh, womb collapsed. But 
through medication, it was uh, in order. And then she had other children. But last year, the muscles holding the womb became so weak that the, the, the thing collapsed again. And we didn't actually, when it started, it was when it bulged out, she called us to tell us, look at what is happening. And at that point, when we visited the hospital, it was already as advanced stage as they said that uh, the only solution was surgery. We went to hospital, uh, we continued, they gave her appointments in March. And when we went there, she was having cough. So they, after conducting several tests, they said that the thing has to be after the cough has relaxed. So we gave her medications and gave us appointment to come back in a month's time. We went again after that time. And when the cough cleared, she became scared of the surgery. She was not willing to go again. She was saying that God will heal her, that God will heal her. She's from Anglican communion. So sometimes in the, in the village, she will go to the church, the altar, lay at the altar and be praying that God should heal her. During the last uh, uh, program, last crusade, Divine Solution, the one held in Abuja, as Daddy was preaching, we brought her to Potter Court in uh, that September. So as Daddy was preaching, she was in the church. And when Daddy was praying that you should lay your hands on the affected part, she said she did, that she laid her hand, that she felt a sensation, she felt a sensation as if something was lifted from her. And that was how that uh, womb that collapsed went in. It's about a month now, since then, the, the, it has not prolapsed again. She has been free and perfectly healed. Praise the living God! So she's here to return all the glory to God. And we know that whatever problem you are having, just believe you receive your own miracle in Jesus' name. All that collapse in your life, God will erect them again. God will establish them again. The next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Right now, I just came here to return the glory. For the past six years, I can't stand well. My back pains all over. We have gone to many places. UPTA, my mom, my dad, they have spent. But after the, after the prayers today, I thank God. I couldn't do like this before, but... Now, I can do it. No pain, nothing. I just came to return the glory to God. Amen. Your name, please. Your name. Before My name is Lucky. Talk. Lucky what? Lucky Toro. Your address? I stay at Rumosi, Port Harcourt. God bless you. Give to your mother to testify. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. I'm so excited today for what God has done in my family for more than six years who are passing pain, spending money up and down, finding solution. But to God be the glory today, two weeks, my brother was, is worshiping in Deeper Life Church. He called me that I should not go to the hospital again, that I should come to this program that immediately I step my feet in this program, my problem will be solved. I thank God because yesterday we are here to where the Papa was degree healing, healing, I was here praying. I say my own case will not be different. I will never go back the way I came. To God be the glory as Papa mentioned the case of or, or pains, all the pains from the back, from down, everything disappeared. It's the marvelous in my heart. Papa, God bless you in the name of Jesus. What lesson do we learn from it?
Somebody invited them, and now the miracle took place. They came yesterday, they came today. Please tell the people suffering around you, your neighbors, your siblings, your parents, all the people around you, tell them the moment they step here, shouts of blessing will come upon them. So tomorrow we expect you will come with them. The next person after this, we go to social media. Praise the Lord. Glorious people of God, praise the Lord of a truth. I have every reason to praise my Lord Jesus. He has done so much for me. I am Sister Debbie Gabriel from a Jeep Extension District. Uh, from Rumeme Old Group. I'm here to testify of wondrous work of God in my life. I don't exactly know where to start because he has been so gracious in my life. So that's about three weeks now. The first Sunday of this very month, I was going for a choir practice at Rumeme Old Group. On the way, at Ensirim Road, of Ada George, near our house, I had an accident on the way. And this very hand, I hit it on the ground. It was as if I'm no, I was no more I'm not alive. The pains were so much that even not for the intervention of God, setting two sisters of the Palai Bible Church that I met as I was going and we greeted and I passed. Not knowing that God intentionally brought them my way, knowing that such an accident will be. As I cried, help me, somebody help me. They ran back. I said, ah, is it not this sister that we have just passed? They gripped me. They took me up and started massaging these fingers. It was as if these fingers were cut off. The pains were so much. They started massaging it, helping me in every way of it. I had to. Even somebody had to tell my sister, please, your sister has an accident. And my sister could not stand the heat. And she called another sister who, you know, you know notified me of that very choir practice and said, please, bring her back. Sister Victoria, Sonny. She said, please, bring her back. Let me see her. Let me know how Just she is. To what God has and done of other as all these things we are going on, to the glory of God, because I, I cannot even bend it, bend the fingers. It will have been so much, the pains. Let alone bend, folding them like this. Even all through that we have been here. Even one sister, Mary, and the other sister, our queen, they have been the ones helping me with it. My sister, the same. And to the glory of God, as our daddy preached, I said, God, I mean, as he prayed, I said, God, every part of me overhaul, every sickness in me, internally and externally, Father, overhaul, remove, help me. Before I knew what was happening, others were shouting, praise the Lord, coming out. I just suddenly felt my fingers. Closing, folding, and opening. Folding and opening. And the pains were not there. I couldn't contain it. I turned to the sister beside me. Echo uh, counselor. I said, sister, I have a testimony. Look at my hand. I cannot fold them. I cannot fold my fingers. I can open. And the pains were not there. To the glory of God, I stand to testify that the Lord has done a marvel marvelous thing in my life. All the four programs that daddy has held even this 51, I have had many testimonies. All of them, God has visited me. To the glory of God, I am healed. I may his name alone be glorified, exalted, and adored forevermore. Daddy, you are welcome. You and your family will make rapture. And everyone 
concerned. I say, God bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen. to other locations and social media now yes the celebration is still going on in all every parts of the world and right now we want to take these all the way from Delta Ekiko Barbara from USA now if you have been someone who's been doubting instantaneous healing this is someone who doubted healing and she got it now she was sent the Zoom link for this crusade. But prior to this time, she's, ha she's been having this serious pain in her head. Not a headache, according to what she has written, but a serious A lady who has had tumor for 20 years and how it vanished. And as a man of God was praying, she connected, she got hooked by faith. And after the prayers of God, she wrote, I have always doubted instantaneous healing, but immediately I received mine. And so she has gotten a healing from serious headache. Praise the Lord. And from there, we we'll go over to Lagos State to celebrate with Sister Ekebuisi Victoria Uloma from New London District, Ipaja, Lagos. She has been having ulcer since her second year in the university. She's well on campus, so much class schedule, she couldn't eat. And then during the September edition of the crusade, she was expecting a miracle. She did not get it then. And it was like the problem grew worse after the program. But the people of God, while the man of God was ministering yesterday, and the showers were falling here in Protocol, she got connected right there in Lagos. And the man of God mentioned, according to her, all types of ulcer are healed immediately. Somebody say immediately. Immediately, the pains, the ulcer, everything vanished, and she felt it in her body. Praise the Lord. I will take this all the way from YouTube, from Sister Awoya Peace. She's been having serious pain in, his, in, in her right eye, disturbing her seriously. But after the prayers of the man of God yesterday, her healing came. And the, right, the pain in the right eye disappeared instantaneously. And we're going to take this also from Mrs. Yamelgo from Congo. She has suffered from an aneketed disc for a year now. And then she went through a surgical intervention on August 19th. But with that, the problem persisted. And she was scheduled for a second surgery. But then she was invited for the program. When she came in, she could not work. But after the prayers of the man of God, Something about the final amen. Something about the final amen. At the mention of the final amen, she got up. She received strength. And right now, she can walk. Praise the Lord. Yes, next. Uh, Michael Ubudu from Iede Group, Isolo region, Delta 1, testified that for more than 18 years, he can't read without the aid of glasses. But during the last month's divine solution for all, he got his miracle, and now he can read without glasses. Praise the Lord. Next. Uh, this is from Sister Glory. 
he resides at Otwepa, Chuba in Port Harcourt. She said, I was invited by my neighbor to watch the program. I had this serious pain on my eyes due to fever. It's been there for a while, while which made my eyes teary and clouded. But while watching during the prayer session with the man of God, I received my healing. I no longer have the pain. I no longer felt the pain, and my eyes are very clear now. Praise the Lord. And before we hand over to the state of Asia, we go all the way to Kogi State at Jaokuta to celebrate the showers with Sister Sarah Job from Kogi State at Jaokuta local government. According to her, she's been very sick. She's been on medication. But yesterday, she got connected to the program. And after the final amen, the cold, the headache, and everything were washed away by the showers. And right now, she is free. Praise the Lord. And uh, while we still have more testimonies coming in from the social media, for now, we hand over to the state of Asia. The next person. Friday. For the last three months, I've been suffering from acute pile. So, and blood has been coming out. I asked my mother, Mommy, what is this? Mommy told me that I'm suffering from inherited, inherited sicknesses. She said that she suffered all this when she was like me. It's not only acute pile chest pain, waist pain, eye problem, different things, and I don't understand. So, when I, when, so I prayed about this, I said, God, remove this thing from my body, that my body is the temple of God, that sickness should not be in my body. I prayed, I said, God, if you remove this thing from my body, I will testify to your own glory. So, I prayed about this thing. What has happened now? So, just tell us what I, I has test, happened now. So, so everything, uh, it was not showing again. I testified in my district. So later it came again. I said, what is this? So when, after the, when the pastor was praying, I said, God, tonight is mine that I must testify that this problem was gone from my body. So when I think after the pastor was praying, the last amen, I felt something left my body. Something, a personality left my body. Now I am strong. I went to the toilet. I checked, I did not see anything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tears of joy. You will receive your own. You have received your own already. We are going to stop here so far. The rest of us, please. Tomorrow, we give you time to testify. There are still many others. Already, you have received your own. 